All right, coming at you again, can man can. A little bit of a do-it-yourself at home um, hydroponic cracky that I kind of figured out. Didn't have much money to really do anything, so I already have a big operation going on. So I just want to do a little bit of testing and theory searching here to find out what works and how to save the most money while doing it. Um, recently just broke my arm here skateboarding, so I've been doing all of this with one hand, so it's been difficult here. So. Here we go with this. Just got a regular smart life water here. Smart water, any real kind of a, uh, maybe if you got something like a soda bottle, another one of those water bottles, anything that has a, a really small lid that you could use, put it on here. I like these, preferably with a sports cap bottle because they open up and have a really tiny hole to put your seedling right into as it's growing, that way it can get bigger and produce more and more for you and eventually you can move it into a bigger medium. Also, another one is these Keurig uh, coffee containers. It's really perfect and ideal because you can do the holes right there. And again, just poke a little hole in the top, kind of drain the coffee out till it all comes out. And then you can just place that seed right into the top of that right there. And the only reason you really need with uh, the cracky hydroponic, the only reason you would need like the pebbles or anything like that, would just kind of to secure it and hold it in place. But with these two, this, and with this, a little hole, and this comes right up, produces a little tiny hole there that gives you just kind of a perfect uh, go-to. Kind of like these with my tomato plants here. And they're really small, and they fit perfectly in there and get snug. That's actually what I'm gonna put in over here. Also gonna do some weed plants that I have grown in a six pack of beer because the bottles are actually very, very dark to block out the light. The light coming in is what causes like the algae and stuff to build up, turn that root system you have going in there green, which is why you have to change out the water with some fresh water. Also the life water is uh, not ideal because it has a lot of salts and electrolytes. So I was gonna drain this and put in just regular bottled water um, now when the seedlings starting out you could also even use non-flavored sparkling water seedlings their roots really do love and strive off of the thrive off of those uh, bubbles little carbonated bubbles and they really do take off it's just like in a root enhancer or a rooting hormone almost so it's really definitely beneficial to pick up on those again just one of these sport bottles you also you could try one of these cure containers and uh, just find out what really works for you to get it going, get it moving. And like I did, I got a six pack of beer, uh, put the lid back on, back on it, and just drilled a little, poked a little small hole in it. And only thing you wanna make sure is that it's BPA free or it's food safe, one of those, to make sure that as it's growing and it's working, it's not gonna interfere. Now with those caps that I drilled the, hold in, the holes in, in the beer containers in the six pack, might have an issue because as the stem gets bigger, uh, it's not, it's not going to be able to get as big because it's, it's broken. So I might have to take some shears and snip them off to, once they get big enough and thick enough to hold themselves in that bottle and eventually plant them in the garden or something, do something with them, give them away. More than likely is what I'm doing with all these here as I experiment with what works. So again, can, man, can coming at you, do it your home, do it yourself with what you've got around the house for your crack key hydroponics. Just set it and let it have a good one. See you next time.